What is the slope of a line? In simple terms, a line's slope is a measurement of how slanted, or, well, how sloped it is. Some lines have a large slope, and some have a small slope. Some lines have no slope at all. Sometimes the slope is so great that we can't put a number on it. There are positive slopes and negative slopes. We calculate the slope of a line by comparing its vertical change to its horizontal change for any two points on the line. That is, we compare how much we go up or down to how much we go over to get from one point on the line to another. We call the vertical change rise and the horizontal change run. The slope is simply the rise divided by the run. You can choose any two points on a line to find its slope. Regardless of how close together or far apart these points are, you'll arrive at the same slope value. Let's take a closer look at slope values, starting with lines that have positive slopes. These lines increase or go up from left to right. The larger that the rise is, relative to the run, the greater the slope. As the rise becomes smaller relative to the run, the slope decreases. The closer that the rise is to zero, the closer the slope is to zero, and the closer the line is to horizontal. Horizontal lines actually have a rise of zero, which gives a slope value of zero. Negative slopes are a result of the rise and the run having opposite signs. A line with a negative slope decreases or goes down from left to right. For a fixed positive run value, as the rise becomes more negative, so does the slope, and the line becomes steeper. What about vertical lines? These troublemakers have a run of zero, which leads to a problematic division by zero when calculating the slope. We say that the slope of a vertical line is undefined. You could say that these lines have so much slope that we can't describe it with a number. There is a formula that is commonly used for calculating the slope of a line. Let's take a look at what it is and where it comes from. Suppose we have a line, and on that line we have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. We know that the slope is the rise divided by the run for any two points on the line. But how do we find the rise and the run using our two points here? Well, the rise is simply the difference in the y values of the two points. That is, y2 minus y1. Similarly, the run is the difference in the x values, which is x2 minus x1. Therefore, the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is the popular slope formula. We often use the letter m to represent the slope, perhaps relating to the French verb monter, which means to ascend or to climb. Note that in the slope formula, it does not matter which point is x1, y1, and which is x2, y2. The interaction of positives and negatives will result in the same value regardless of which point is called point 1 and which is called point 2. Lastly, note that a line's slope describes its rate of change. So, in addition to its geometric uses, the application of slope extends to a huge variety of other real-world situations and problems.